Hey guys, it's Jose, the California Beekeeper. Today I wanted to show you guys how to introduce a queen into your queenless colony. If you haven't already subscribed, go down below, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up on this video. Make sure you hit that bell to get the notifications as soon as we drop a new video. So many different ways I'm just gonna show you one way that we do it it's the easiest way I feel let's get to it all right a couple days ago we felt like we needed to introduce some new stock into our um, into our apiary and when you're gonna do this uh, you want to do your research you want to know who you're gonna buy from why you're gonna buy from them and when are you gonna introduce these Queens so we're getting towards the end of uh, breeding season. Um, we'll have a last uh, hoorah here in September um, for the last of the queens. So we're going to introduce four um, queens into our apiary. There's so many breeders out there that you can buy your queens from. Um, we're based out of Northern California and we do have a lot of reputable Northern California breeders. So we broke it down into what are we looking for? What we're looking for is bees that are calm, bees that are, have good hygienic behavior, bees that are good honey producers, and bees that are mite tolerant um, and disease free. Uh, those are the things that we look for, you know, other than the fine details, but generally that's what we're looking for. So we target those breeders that do the same things that we do. Uh, we like to introduce some new stock into our Italian line and our Carniolian uh, line. And the reason why is because it's good to do that so you don't get any inbreeding um, happening in your apiary. So it's always good to do your research and who you want as far as uh, genetics. You want to target those people that, those breeders that do that have the same goals as you. So we got two queens, um, or four queens from two different breeders, um, blacks and Italians. And we'll show you, a couple days ago we went and we installed already, okay? And we did introduce these. These are our new world carniolans. Let's take a look. It's been, it's been about four days um, since we introduced these queens in here. Uh, I'll say actually five days. So it was five days. We This was a queenless single. And what we did is we put the queen right where there is the brood, where the nurse bees are likely going to be, right in the middle, center of the colony, where the brood is. The reason why we introduce her in that brood area is in order for the bees to feed her, um, tend to her, and really we'll just chew her out. Um, it did have a candy, so we'll take a look. These ones are the three whole, uh, similar to the Kona Queens, you're able to put a lot more attendance. Looks like they chewed her out already. There we go. So they chewed her out. So, ooh. So the next step is to, gonna get stung. So the next step is to see, well, see if she's laying. Likely she is not laying, but it is hot. It has been 100 plus degrees around here in Northern California. So they are gonna chew that candy out pretty fast. So it usually takes about three days for them to chew or eat out the candy in order to release the queen. 
So uh, we're just gonna take a look, make sure she's there. And um, they accepted her. So this hive here was queenless for 72 hours before we introduce the queen. And again, queen should always be face down. The candy, face down and right into that brood nest, just like so. Facing her downward, um, she doesn't get exposure to the heat. It is a single. Um, if I do put a can on top, she won't drown being faced up. So always face her down, candy down, that way they can chew her out a little faster. All right, I'm seeing some eggs. So, yeah, she's been laying for about two days. So, wow, they chewed her up fast, um, or chewed her out fast. See if we can try to find her. She was marked. Um, she was not marked but here she is this is one of our blacks our new world carnolian so they accepted her again that was 72 hours that this hive was left queenless 72 hours before we introduced her um, they accepted her and now she is just starting to lay um, we have Three more we're gonna go check out and uh, see how they're doing. All right, right here, we have a uh, double. Um, I mean, normally like to introduce the queens on singles. It's just much more easier for me in order to go back into the colony and uh, we'll really go dig and find her. So. But this one here was queenless and I felt like needed a queen immediately so put the queen down facing down candy down they chewed her out as you can see take one of these outer frames out first we don't want to smush her trying to get one of these uh inner frames out so we are gonna go and try to find this Either some eggs or the queen. There she is. She's in there in the mix somewhere. Let's see if we can find her. There she is. Look at that. And that is uh, one of our new world carnolians. So we are two for two on our uh, on our blacks. Let's go check out our uh, our Italians and see. All right, so the last Italian, I didn't have something ready for it, so I pulled two frames of brood, two or three, and set it up top here. We'll take a look at it, make sure it took well. Again, facing downward is ideal they chewed her out and we will pull these frames out and see if we can find her they are drawing out some queen cells and you can take care of them now or you or you just let the queen take care of them if she is in there. A lot of cells, so many cells. There she is. What we will do is 
kind of destroy these cells. Give her a give her a hand. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some good tips on how to introduce a queen into your single or your to your nuke. Um, it was something that we were gonna do anyhow, and I wanted to share that and how we do it, okay? Um, if you do it a different way, if you have any questions, go down below, um, drop us a comment. Video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up on this video, and make sure you go check us out on Instagram or Facebook at the California Beekeeper. All right, guys, thanks so much.